Good evening. Welcome to the Florida Department of Transportation Public Information Workshop on the State Road 500 at Hollywood Boulevard, Evans Road, Intersection Improvement in Brevard County. Financial Project Identification Number 433655-1. This workshop is being held to inform and provide opportunities to all the citizens to express any concerns to the Florida Department of Transportation, FDOT. The workshop is being held to comply with Title VI of the Civil Rights Act of 1964. Public participation is solicited without regard to race, color, national origin, age, sex, religion, disability, or family status. Persons wishing to express their concerns relative to FDOT compliance with Title VI may do so by contacting Jennifer Smith, FDOT District 5, Title VI Coordinator, by phone at 386-943-5367 or via email at jennifer.smith2 at dot.state.fl.us or Jacqueline Paramore, State Title VI Coordinator, Florida Equal Opportunity Office, via phone 850-414-4753 or via email at jacqueline.paramore at dot.state.fl.us. All inquiries or complaints will be handled according to FDOT procedure and in a prompt and courteous manner. This public workshop was advertised consistent with the state requirements and is being conducted consistent with the Americans with Disabilities Act of 1990. Please visit CFLROADS.com to access more information about this project. This project is located in Brevard County and extends approximately 0.36 miles along State Road 500, 0.14 miles south of State Road 500 along Hollywood Boulevard, and 0.20 miles north of State Road 500 along Evans Road. The purpose of this project is to improve the State Road 500 intersection located at Hollywood Boulevard, Evans Road. The proposed improvements consist of adding turn lanes and a through lane at State Road 500 and Hollywood Boulevard, Evans Road, replacing existing mast arms, upgrading signing and pavement markings, lighting, and pedestrian features, installing pedestrian signals, improving intelligent transportation systems, milling, resurfacing, and improving safety and drainage systems. On the screen is an aerial exhibit of the existing conditions at the intersection, including the existing right-of-way, signalized intersections, and parcel lines. On the screen is an aerial exhibit of the proposed conditions, including the proposed right-of-way, milling and resurfacing limits, widening limits, and proposed mast arm locations. The typical section displayed on the screen depicts the existing conditions to the west of Hollywood Boulevard, Evans Road, along State Road 500. This area consists of a total of four through lanes with two lanes traveling in each direction and two eastbound left turn lanes connecting to Evans Road. There is a bike lane and a sidewalk located on both sides of the roadway. The design speed for State Road 500 is 45 miles per hour. Displayed is a typical section for the proposed conditions on State Road 500 west of Hollywood Boulevard, Evans Road, including turn lanes widening. The proposed typical section will fit within the existing right-of-way with proposed widening in the median. It is comprised of four 11-foot travel lanes with two lanes traveling in both directions. There are two proposed eastbound left turn lanes connecting to Evans Road and one eastbound right turn lane connecting to Hollywood Boulevard. There are also two bike lanes traveling in both directions and a proposed four-foot traffic separator dividing the opposing traffic. The typical section displayed on the screen depicts the existing conditions to the east of Hollywood Boulevard, Evans Road, along State Road 500. This area consists of a total of four through lanes with two lanes traveling in each direction, one westbound left turn lane connecting to Hollywood Boulevard, and one westbound right turn lane connecting to Evans Road. There is a bike lane and a sidewalk located on both sides of the roadway. The design speed for State Road 500 is 45 miles per hour. 
Displayed is a typical section for the proposed conditions on State Road 500 east of Hollywood Boulevard Evans Road, including through and turn lanes. The proposed condition will fit inside the existing right-of-way while accommodating the widening in the median. It is comprised of four 11-foot travel lanes with two lanes traveling in both directions. There are two proposed westbound left turn lanes connecting to Hollywood Boulevard and one westbound right turn lane connecting to Evans Road. There are also two bike lanes traveling in both directions and a proposed four-foot traffic separator dividing the opposing traffic. The typical section displayed on the screen depicts the existing conditions of Hollywood Boulevard located to the south of State Road 500. This section consists of two northbound through lanes and one southbound through lane. There is also a northbound left and right turn lane connecting to State Road 500. The design speed for Hollywood Boulevard is 30 miles per hour. Displayed is a typical section for the proposed conditions of Hollywood Boulevard located to the south of State Road 500. The proposed conditions will require an additional 26 feet of right-of-way to accommodate for lane widening on the west side of the existing roadway. The proposed roadway will consist of four through lanes, with two through lanes traveling in both directions. There is also a northbound left and right turn lane connection to State Road 500. The typical section displayed on the screen depicts the existing conditions of Evans Road located to the north of State Road 500. This section consists of two northbound through lanes and a southbound through lane. There is also a southbound left and right turn lane connecting to State Road 500. The design speed for Evans Road is 30 miles per hour. Displayed is a typical section for the proposed conditions of Evans Road located to the north of State Road 500. The proposed conditions will require additional right-of-way on each side of the existing roadway to accommodate for the widening of existing turn lanes. The proposed roadway consists of four through lanes with two through lanes traveling in both directions. There is also one southbound left turn lane and two southbound right turn lanes connecting to State Road 500. A total of five proposed mast arms will be installed at the intersection. One mast arm will be installed at each of the four quadrants of the intersection and the fifth mast arm will be installed within the curbed island located at the northwest corner of the intersection at State Road 500 and Evans Road. Accessible pedestrian signals will be installed at each corner of the intersection. The design for this project initiated in July 2016 and its production date is scheduled for July 2022. The construction cost is estimated to $2.1 million approximately. This project is currently not funded for construction. On the screen is a copy of the comment form that can be found at the sign-in tables. There are two ways you can provide comments. Provide verbal comments directly to the consultants. Submit written comments via mail or email. Email comments must be received by June 29, 2018, and mailed comments must be postmarked by June 29, 2018. All mailed comments should be mailed to the FDOT project manager at the address provided on the comment form. Addresses and contact information are also included on the project handout. Comment forms can be completed tonight and placed in the comment box located here at the public workshop. Thank you for attending. For additional information about FDOT projects, please visit www.cflroads.com.